I'm Momar Tal. Um, I'm a young Gambian entrepreneur. My first business uh, about 10 years ago in 2005. It was called Malaika Clothing. It was a clothing brand um, based in Canada telling African stories. Um, I moved back to Gambia about four years ago and I got involved in business here. Um, it took me a while to find my feet but um, eventually I settled into groundnut and agro-processing. Uh, right now I have a company named Tropingo Foods. Uh, we process and export groundnuts and um, do mango processing as well. Initially when I went to university I was studying international development and economics. Um, I wanted to be a diplomat um, following the footsteps of my dad. And um, while I was studying international development, I realized that um, my calling wasn't necessarily to be a diplomat. I felt that um, I was studying development and I found out in Africa what is lacking was the gap between agriculture and finished goods, so value addition. And I felt it was my duty to come. I first saw an opportunity and secondly, I saw it as a duty to come and fill that gap or be one of the people who fill that gap and be part of the people that push this new wave of African entrepreneurship instead of just growing something and selling it. Let's take our own resources and make something out of it and then sell it. So with ground up processing, um, what we do is I have a warehouse and at my warehouse I have traders coming from all parts of the country, North Bank, West Bank, Basse, all everywhere that they've gone, even from Senegal actually. They bring it in to, to my warehouse and my laborers um, unloaded, the male labor is unloaded and store it in the back. When they store it, we have a processing system to sort the quality. Um, that's where we have the 70 women. Um, each woman gets a pan and they, they sieve and sort out the different qualities that we need for the different, um, the different uh, grades of groundnut. We train them on how to do this. Once it goes through that system, then we know that the end product is clean and it's the quality that we need. From there, we bag it, weigh it, and ship it on containers. There's a lot more intricate stuff that goes into it, like quality control, moisture checking, and stuff, but it's difficult to explain. But um, it's pretty much a three-tier system. Intake, storage, processing, export, so forth. Market-wise, Gambia is very small. So one of the challenges was finding a market, um, which is why I export to China, because it's a huge market. Another thing was being taken seriously. When you don't have a track record, when you're young and you're straight out of university, you have all these ideas but you don't have the experience. So a lot of people won't take that risk on you. So it's up to you to go out and do it for yourself and prove to people that you have what it takes. Um, it took me a long time for pe before people took me seriously. Until now, even with everything I've accomplished or everything I want to do, it's very hard for people to take me seriously because of my age. I'm 27 and I think this is one of the things that holds us back a lot. Um, I think where I was lucky is I have good mentors who took me on board and showed me a lot and also gave me a lot of credibility. Um, I think that that is key. I think this is long overdue. I think this is a great initiative. Um, I believe that for Africa to make it we need to be united and we need to understand how to connect with each other and using a platform like this, using technology, everyone is just a fingertip away. Um, we need to learn from the experiences of our brothers and sisters in other African countries so that we can implement things here and they can also learn from us. Um, so I'm for it. I love the idea. I love the interconnectivity and I love that it's focusing on entrepreneurship and young entrepreneurs because we are the future. Gambia just celebrated 50 years of independence. The next 50 years is ours to shape and we can't shape it alone. We have to look at the experiences of entrepreneurs in Ghana, in Uganda. There's people doing great things but no one's hearing their stories and once you hear their stories it motivates you because you say these are Africans like us with the same issues that we have we can do it too if they're doing it so I'm um, thumbs up I definitely think it's an amazing platform